8. Until today, New York schools were going to reopen May 15th. Local 44's Mike Hoey wanted to check in with two North Country schools about exactly what their plans were. One of the districts we reached out to surveyed its entire community about the prospect of returning to class. The other surveyed its own staff members only. Peru Superintendent Dr. Thomas Palmer asked district employees about reopening in two weeks. Thursday was the deadline to reply. 258 people did. People said they would come back if they had to, but there was still uh, an intrepidation and uncertainty of what was going on for the future. Even without Friday's extension, Dr. Palmer says most of the Peru staff members who were already staying at home would have continued doing so if given the choice. There was 64 or 68 uh, cases up here in the North Country, so we did not hit that level yet that they did downstate, but doesn't mean that it could spike on us. So people were being very cautious and, and, and making sure they were doing the things they needed to do under the governor's pause act. And with the extension of New York on pause, Palmer is glad to have some more clarity. I was hoping the governor would make a decision either way so that we'd have a really clear understanding of what the work that, uh, ahead of us that we were going to have to do in order to get our school ready to come back or to plan for the fall. Crown Point Superintendent Sherry Brannock wasn't available for an interview, but their district has just done a community-wide survey about reopening in mid-May. If the governor had required Crown Point to reopen, but not all schools statewide, slightly more than half of those who responded would not have sent their children to school. More than 200 people in Crown Point responded to their survey. The deadline to respond was noon today, shortly after Governor Cuomo extended the school closure order. Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. And Mike, in the North Country, Clinton County is reporting 65 positive tests 